I'm discussing how you can add strength training, which will improve your performance on the court without adding a burden to your schedule. I'm Aaron Robinette, head coach of Athletic Power and Performance. I help athletes overcome roadblocks to improve your ability to enjoy your sport for longer and at a higher level. Competitive tennis players often have hectic schedules with all their commitments with tennis practice, school, and of course tournaments. Adding one more thing such as a strength training program seems like a waste of time to many tennis players. However, strength training is the one competitive advantage that will set you apart from the competition. I'll show you four different exercises that will help you with different aspects of your tennis game and will not break your schedule with the amount of time to perform these exercises. Let's cover the four exercises. The first exercise is a hopping lunge with an overhead twist. This exercise is an excellent exercise for the tennis player to develop explosive power in the lower body while also increasing functional twisting power. To perform this exercise, you want to have one leg forward to start and you want to hold the ball on the hip of that forward leg. As you hop, you want to explosively hop up as you take the ball up overhead and then switch the hip. As you're hopping, switch your legs so that you go into the opposite leg forward and then you're going to drop down into the lunge. Perform roughly between 6 to 12 reps and you want to do 1 to 3 sets of this exercise. The next exercise is a dumbbell squat with an overhead press. This exercise develops foundational leg strength, something every tennis player needs. This also combines upper body strength by developing the shoulders, another key area the tennis player needs to strengthen. With performing this exercise, you want to make sure your feet are roughly about hip width apart. You'll drop down into the squat with your hands up at your shoulders. As you start to raise up at the top, you'll start to lift up into the squat. As you start the up phase of the squat, you want to start raising your arms up overhead. By the time you get to the top of the squat, you want to have your hands roughly all the way up into the top end of the overhead press. You want to perform between 8 to 12 reps of this exercise and 1 to 3 sets. The third exercise is a supine lateral ball roll. This exercise is excellent for developing stability in the upper and lower body as well as strengthening the core muscles. This is the most challenging exercise on this list. You're going to hold a stick with your arms and the purpose for the stick, so you want something that's really not weighted. The purpose for the stick is when you start to get out to the side, you can tell if your arms are parallel to the ground or if one side of your body is dropping or the other side is dropping. You want to maintain neutral alignment, so you want your arms, your shoulders, as well as your hips parallel to the ground the entire duration of the exercise, with the exception of moving into position. So you want to move over to one side, hold that position for roughly 5 to 10 seconds before rotating and moving all the way over to the other side, again holding for 5 to 10 seconds. You want to perform between 5 to 10 reps and 1 to 3 sets of this exercise. The final exercise is a deadlift with a bent over row. This exercise develops the lower body, the mid-back, and is excellent for developing strength and posture for the tennis player. This can be a little bit of a complex exercise. What you'll do is you'll have a barbell. You want to drop down into the deadlift. When you come all the way up, then you want to bend over into the bent over row position. Do one rep of a bent over row, stand back up, and then perform the next deadlift. That constitutes a single rep of this exercise. You want to perform 8 to 12 reps and 1 to 3 sets of this exercise. The biggest key to adding strength training without adding a bunch of extra time that you would need to somehow fit this into your schedule is choosing exercises that train multiple areas at the same time and only performing 2 or 3 of these exercises per workout. That way you can add effective strength training that only takes about 15 minutes or less to perform. 
In this video, I'm just showing a few key exercises you can add to a busy schedule. For a deeper dive into Unleashing the Athlete Within, get a copy of my book, Athlete Unleashed. Also check out my online program and individual coaching options at athleticpowerandperformance.com. That link is in the description below.